Yeah, see me here with episode 2 of the Leaf Green Survival Nuzlocke. Last time we chose our starter and we fought the rival. And we caught a Pidgey and we named uh, him Bird Jesus 2. In honor of Bird Jesus 1 who died in the Twitch Place Pokemon stream. So, uh,. I am not entirely uh, starting from from where we left off. I did some grinding and some research, and I noticed. Well, obviously, the first right, well, the second rival battle, I always lose it a couple of times. So I had to grind, or else we were gonna lose and die. So now blue is level 10. Blue is awesome, level 10. Uh, he has a lonely nature. Um, and that's really, really bad. That um, ups his attack. Which, attack and special attack on Blastoise, there's only a two point difference. It doesn't really make a difference. You can easily run a mixed set. But the lonely nature will um, reduce the defense, which is um, Blastoise's second highest stat. So that's kind of really bad. So we have OK stats, Dorant. And yeah, level 10. And we have, we have withdraw. We got that at level 7, I think. And we also got. Oh no, we got. We already have bubble. So no, withdraw. We got it at level 10. So withdraw is going to be really, really good. Um, so I have a really, really good strategy for the rival. Also, we have a Pidgey. Who's adamant nature? And that's extremely good. On the other hand, um, adamant will lower the special attack and increase the attack. And Pidgeotto is a little bit more, you know, on the attacking side than on the special attacking side. So that's really, really good. Uh, Keen Eye prevents loss of accuracy, and we got Sand Attack at level six, I think. Not sure, and we got Gust at level nine. Now Gust, is, like Tackle, it's 35 power. Bubble is 20. Stab, it becomes 30. So Bubble is slightly less powerful, but has perfect accuracy. Withdraw will raise their defense. Really good. Tail Whip will lower the opponent's defense. So I've got a really good set. I have Tackle, 35 power, 95 accuracy. This is 100 accuracy. And it's 40 power, so it's more powerful, and it stabs, so it's like, it's as if it's 60 power. So basically, there's a really, really big difference. And we have sand attack to lower <coughs> the opponent's uh, accuracy. So I, I'm starting off with blue, because the rival will be starting off with um, his Pidgey. And... Yeah, his Pokemon are no, I already talked to you. Uh, his Pokemon are level um nine. So I put them level ten. It's not gonna be too easy, but with a good strategy it's gonna be good. So we attack to everyone. And we'll battle the rival. I hate that I just, you know, can't use the running shoes. That's all because you can only get them after you beat the first gym. Which is way different from X and Y. X and Y you wake up and you already have them on you, and that is really cool. What's there? Ooh! We found a potion! Yeah! That's gonna be really cool. Uh also I think I did uh Yeah, but it's tough. Oh no, that was with you guys then. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Also, in the options, uh, I changed the frame to frame number 8. And I put battle animations off because I was grinding, so I'll put them on back, back on. Spiro. Yeah, so next route, there's Spiro, there's Rotata, and there's Mankey. What we want is Mankey. 
you have 45% chance of getting a Mankey, 45% chance of getting a Rotato, and 10% chance of getting a Spearow, which we do not want because we already have a Pidgey. I think. Not sure if Firo has better stats. We already. Oh, dang. Not sure if Firo has better stats, but. I don't know. Aha! Oh, what is the red box you have? Uh, so you're working on your Pokédex. Then let me give you a word of advice. Whenever you catch a Pokémon, the Pokédex automatically updates its data. You don't know how to catch a Pokémon? Yes, I do. I already did. Of course. <laughs> that is so... <laughs> that is so stupid. Don't even need to click. He clicks for me. <coughs> He's not gonna lower the HP. He's not even supposed to catch a Pokemon if he doesn't have a Pokemon. That's what Old told me. That man is illegal. He should not wander off in the tall There's not even tall grass. There's not even tall grass. He's double illegal, and he gave us the Tichi TV. The Tichi TV is crap. Most of you just don't know what it is. Even Pokemon fans don't know what it is. Why? Because it's so boring, no one uses it. But I will. Where are tight matchups? For you that don't know Pokemon? Well, You'll learn. I'm not gonna read this. He's a pokey dude. Oh, he doesn't have the running shoes. Maybe he does. Is he gonna be okay? He's not illegal. He has a level 15 polywag, but I don't think he can catch that here. Unless he went somewhere else. Mm hmm. It is not very effective. Oh, do I have to like play? Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> He's gonna lose this. That did a lot of damage. Wow. Also, I almost like died uh, when I was well, not almost, but when I was grinding, um, there was I don't know. I risked taking a tackle, like using tackle. When if it would have missed at five percent chance, I would have I would have been tackled and I would have died. So my Pidgey would have been dead. Fortunately for me, I did not miss. But yeah, I won't do that again because five percent chance happens so more often. Like I don't know, in mean, as lot, you always miss, you always get crits. Because the game knows as soon as you say Nuzlocke. Well, they say, okay, let's put it in a hard mode. Is it, like, done? Can I, like... Okay, good. I I'm done with it. I pressed B. <clears throat> that was so boring. Uh -oh. I need to go here, right? Yeah, oops. Yeah, it's always closed. The leader is Giovanni. So I'll go to the other side to just say it's closed. And there's another route. We are not gonna go there. That is not our mission. So we talked to everyone. Of course, if you're wondering why I'm, you know, at such a slow pace, it is because... Do we get, like, an encounter first? Yes! We get an encounter before we battle the rival. That's a Mankey! Yes! Rotano would have been a good slave. Spiro, we already have flying time. But Mankey? 
I beat the Elite Four with that Primate. I beat the Elite Four with that Primate in my other game. I don't think we can risk attacking it. I'll use with the uh, Razor Defense. Wow, okay, that was... I didn't know he had Leer. I didn't... I forgot he had Leer. So... I guess we can't just try to lower the damage for the whole... You know, whatever. So a Pokeball on you. It should work. Or not. Because I have nothing to... I can't attack you. You'll die. I've got 13 more. Come on. I can't miss this up. It's gonna work this time, I, mean, I know it. Look, look, look. One, two, three, four, I knew it, I knew it. Yes, we got a Mankey, I'm so happy. Mankey, yeah! We are definitely not going to, like... The other one was called Punch Monk. Panky? Panky, that's stupid. I guess we're gonna call it Panky. Panky, because it's, it's a monkey? Manky? But it punches, so it's, it's Panky. Yeah, it definitely makes a lot of sense. Where's the K? Where's the K? I'm sure you guys are just like, hey, there's a K. Oh, there it is. Panky. There you go. It's a girl. So we're gonna go Panky. There you go, Panky! Welcome to the team! So basically, uh, we got the two encounters we wanted. And no need to go to the Pokemon Center. Yes, Blue got a little bit of damage. I can't afford that. Definitely not. Not against the rival. So... We have Mankey on our side, but I'm not going to use it for the rival battle. So I'm going to box it. Yes, I will box it, because if I use it, it's going to die. And I kind of don't want it. I don't want to use it as a death fodder. Or maybe it's a good idea. I'm going to keep it as a death fodder. In case I need to, like, throw him out and, like, you know get him killed, which is really sad, but whatever, uh, or I could just, you know, leave him there, and if I die, I can train him to, like, level 20 and beat the crap out of my rival, but I do believe that the chances of having to use him as a death fodder are higher than the chances of me getting wiped out and having to restart. So obviously in Nuzlocke you have to play carefully and you have to play using statistics if you want to do a good grade on it. Okay. Is he like gonna go there? Try to beat me? No, there's nothing there. Or else he would have already come. He's he's up. He's up there. Good. We don't want any encounter. Oh, there you go, Gary or Blue. Hey, senior, you're after the Pokemon League? Forget about it. You probably don't have any badges, do you? The girl won't let you through without them. Okay. By the way, do your Pokemon get any stronger? <laughs> I'll kill you. He's gonna start with Pidgey, right? Yeah. yeah. He starts with Pidgey level 9, but I have Blue level 10. So that Pidgey has Sand Attack. Gust and Tackle. Is Gust physical? Is Gust physical? We have a Pidgey of our own. So we can already check that. Oh dang, that's right. Shh, crap. 
forgot. Forgot we're playing Gen 3, not Gen 4. So things are not physical or special. They're type. The type is either physical or special. And so there was a trick. The trick was there's something for every every well all the types that you know there are evolutions for. That means those are all special plus dragons. So. There's no flying evolution, so Gust is physical. There's no normal evolution, so Tackle is physical. There's a water one, so my bubble is special. So Gust is physical. If he only has physical moves, I can withdraw. There's my defense a bit. That's gonna help me way more. Of course he has sand attack, so I'm not gonna continue doing that or else it just won't work. So now I'll tackle you to death. And it works. So that's his strategy. So I'm guessing the NPC strategy, yeah, it's to oh we have equal speed. Okay, it's a speed time. Uh the strategy is to like lower my stuff a little bit and then continue the attack to so, you know. So, of course, that's okay, because we withdraw, so we're super, ha, he missed last week. of course, it was our opportunity, of course, again, this is getting dangerous, really dangerous, four times in a row, if he crits, yeah, okay, if I, if I would have missed again, I would have, you know, needed to do some other stuff. So he's gonna switch into Bulbasaur, and I'm kind of weak. Bulbasaur does not have any grass type moves. He only has, um, he only has a uh, weak sheet. So Blue is kind of weak, but Blue did not die. We have a physical gust. Should we say an attack? I believe that one say an attack would really work well. He has ground too. Okay, that did four damage. So crit would do eight. Um well, yeah. Because we're at such low levels that um uh, it won't well, whatever. You are dead. My strategy worked perfectly. Because there's always like, there's a multiplier 1.0 and from 0.85 to 1.0 and that determines the strength of your attack. But in low levels it doesn't make a difference. In high levels it can make a difference of like 5 or 10 HP more or less. So yeah. Also, while I was grinding, um, we encountered a lot of um, Rattata and Pidgey because that's what was in there. And that is really cool because both give um, speed EVs and speed EVs are really, really cool. They work really well. So again, it's going to be a slow episode just because I don't have the freaking grinding shoes. I don't like not having the running shoes, it is so slow. We're gonna move Panky first to get some EXP. So the grinding really, really did help. And keeping Pidgey for last was like the best thing to do. Uh, I don't believe there's anything there. Maybe a Pokeball, I'll have to check. But again, with the running shoes, it is so slow. Rotata, okay. We are going to. Oh, we have Scratch and Leader. What's the power of Scratch? 
Eighty. Forty. Okay, so that's really good. Uh, who needs EXP? Nah, I'll just put blue one. Would be awesome to get a, a, an evolution, but obviously that won't happen. Can't win. That won't work. You have to be the mighty tackle. So basically, if he were to tackle twice, but it would have been better for him. Yeah, so there, there's water. No one gives you anything here, right? Blah, blah, blah. You don't have the boulder badge, whatever. So basically, there's no item here. The only item that was around is uh, the potion I got earlier. So we have... We have seven minutes left, so I do believe we can get another encounter before ending this, right? Another encounter, then we can go back to the Pokemon Center. And it's a Rattara! Yes! So we got all four Pokemon we wanted. So you can't kill me, and I can't kill you. Taylor, that's dangerous, but you know, he's a level two. He has Let's go for another one. Yeah, okay. Three Tailwhip, that's that's way too much. But he's gonna attack us, which is really good because when we're gonna switch out, well they'll all go away. Could have gone for another one? But I can't risk it. A crit would have killed it. So we're going to Pokeball you. We might as well just buy a couple more at the Pokemon Center. Yeah. Good. We got a Rattata. We got a Squirtle. We got a Pidgey. And we got a Mankey. That is really, really lucky, actually. Give a nickname, yeah. The other one was Rattooth, so I'm gonna name you Scooter. Cause you're um yeah, Dookie Shed, he's Nate wants to battle his friend. Um his uh rat died. And his rat was named Scooter, so Scooter. There you go. I'm so glad we have a Rattata and um, a Mankey. That's a really, really solid team. Because the Mankey has physical... Um, well, Mankey has uh, fighting type attacks. We have flying type attacks. And we have fly. Fly is physical. And with the adamant nature, fly will be really, really powerful. We have a squirrel that has uh, a really pitiful um, nature, but it's okay since it kind of equalizes our attacks. And if we ever want to like use Mega Punch or Mega Kick, so it isn't too bad, kind of. Okay, we are going to uh, leave you there. Mankey, quirky nature. I don't know what that does. Cause you know, I would, I could. Quirky nature, I don't really know what the quirky nature does. We've got good attack already. 
Vital Spirit prevents sleep, so we all really have like a couple of things that just prevent other stuff. So we can switch into status moves really easily. So Quirky, that kind of increases our speed, I think, at the cost of something. Like special defense or something really, really bad. Or it's just neutral, I don't know. We have Scooter, a Adamant Nature! Wow, two- seriously? Seriously, another Adamant Nature, wow, we are lucky. That lowers our special attack, which we do not need on a Rattata, and increases our attack, which we do need on a Rattata. That is, that is really insane. Guts, ups attack, if suffering. So it's Guts or Runaway, I think. Guts is really okay. So if we are, ever get, like, poisoned or anything, which might happen in the forest, which is really, really, uh, it could easily happen. Uh, it doubles our attack, so that's good, but poison is really bad because it affects you outside of battle. But let's say we get paralyzed or, no, burned. If we get burned, um, burn, the burn cuts your attack in half, but with guts, it doubles it instead of like, you know, it's awesome. You still get damage, but... Guts is actually really good. We might actually be able to use that. And I can't believe we got two Adamant Pokemon. Here we would have liked Modest or Rela uh, something that, you know, increases a good stat. But, well, actually, we would have liked a neutral nature on it. Which are really easy to find. But we got Quirky, which I don't know what that does too much. Wow, that's a really solid team. So I'm just Steve right there. And that will be it. We already have four Pokemon, and they're all the ones we wanted. So obviously, we'll come back with more research if I need to grind a little more and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's the end of the episode. Like if you enjoyed, comment your thoughts, comment questions, comment whatever. I always answer comments. Subscribe if you haven't already. Join the Mia family. And as always, done it.